Wilson Morales from Black Film TV. Hello, Mr. Murphy. How's it going? What's up, man? How are you? Hey, you seem to be working hard these days. You're back in the mix. What's changed over the last few years that you're now doing a lot of projects back to back? Oh, I was on the couch, uh, semi-retired for years. <laughs> and then I decided, I, okay, I was rested and let me go back to work. Mm -hmm. I, say I had to take a break. I think I did a, an interview in Rolling Stone in 2011 where I was like, I'm taking a break, you know, because uh, I just needed to. And it, and I I thought I was going to take off two, three years and it turned into like five or six, seven years. You know? And then my batteries got recharged and now here we are again. Yep, you're back like Duracell. You ain't going to stop. You're working with Kenya. Obviously, this is his first feature uh, directing. You know, what was that like? We've seen what he can write. Now, can we, uh, we've seen him direct, but now directing on a big screen level. I thought he did a great job. And uh, I thought he handled the, himself on the set amazing. We had a, a, a pleasant uh, sh uh, shooting. Uh, we did a ple ple principal photography just went smooth. And the set was cool all the time. And I thought he did a great job. And and, and he did, because the movie is amazing. Directors make the movies. The actors and the and the writers and the you know we, we all contribute to it, but the movie gets made by the director. At the end of the day, it's the director's fault. Whatever you see on screen, bad or good, it's the director's fault. <laughs> You've been in the game so long. What's it been like now to work with Julie Louise again, nearly four decades later after you guys did SNL back in the day? That was a, a surreal. It was a trip because you know we were little babies back then. I'm 19 years old, 20 years old, and she was you know, the, the same thing. And you, uh, I hadn't we hadn't seen each other, and I was a fan of the sign of Seinfeld. So it's still a huge fan of the Seinfeld show, and uh, so I loved her from that, and, and I loved her from other VP all her stuff. And then we're back on the set again. That was surreal. Mm -hmm. You know, when you work on these type of films, and you know you are a comedian at heart. Do the directors or screenwriters let you ad lib a little bit, or you're just going off the page? Oh, I've always ad libbed. That's been part of it from day one. From in forty eight hours, it's so much of the dialogue is ad libbed, and that's because I was um, I'm, I was come from stand. I'm I was always looking for how you make a, a line better or a line more authentic or a moment more authentic from day one. So I'm always allowed that. You know, mm -hmm. actually Before, they've allowed that. They they encourage it and they ex they expect that. I, I've seen I've had you know scripts come and I'd be like, hey, this script ain't shit. And they'd be like, I want you to put your stuff on it, then it'll work. They'd be like, hey, but we we gotta start out with more than this, dude. <laughs> Hey, you know, it's great to have you back. Obviously, we got more projects to see you in down the road. Can't wait to see you back again as Axel Foley. Who knows when the, the date will come up. But in the meantime, you know, we got this to enjoy. Have yourself a great day, Mr. Murphy. Thank you, bro. You have a good one, too. <laughs> All right. Um, Wilson Ross, Black from TV. Kenya, obviously, you've directed a couple of, you know, some episodes of the shows you've done. But now you're doing a feature. What was that experience? <laughs> you know, especially when you're working with Nia and the rest of this Ooh. cast. <laughs> I gave him the hardest time. Ooh. I'm just going to say it first. Because <laughs> we're good friends, so I would kind of go, listen, no, uh-uh. And he, at one point, he just had to say, shut up. Here, here's the thing that I, I realized. Um, Nia, what, we did have moments we'd argue, but like she's a friend, and so I felt like she definitely... We like, didn't argue. I just would roll my eyes and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> she definitely, also, it's important to have people who are going to tell you the truth. You know what I'm saying? And so I feel like, especially on the first time when you're used to sort of being the boss and you're in new territory, if someone was like, I don't think this is the way it goes. So the idea of that was, it was comforting to me to have people around me, you know, and she's in our community iconic and has done this genre, you know, more than most people of, you know, of a black woman can ever, most black women can ever say. With that being said, the, here's the difference that I noticed in film and, and TV. On, at TV, in TV, it's like going to the rock quarry or the, or the cannery, right? People come clock in, they know they may be there five, 10 years on those shows, and it is, they come to work, and it's, the attitudes are different, and they like her. In movies, movie stars and movie, a big part of movie is managing talent. 
I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, like, and I did not know that that was such a big part of it. It's meant because movie stars come and they're going to be there two months max, right? And so they don't need to become friends with people. <laughs> they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't have to, to like they you. Like, they no, come. I'm kidding. I've had people who are really good friends and really one way and they step on that movie set and I'm like, hold on, what's happening right now? <laughs> and so that was the difference. That, and I had to sort of understand that that is a big part of being a director in a feature is that you are managing talent. But yeah. we had a great set. We had an amazing, Here, had an amazing Everyone set. got along. I mean, Young Miami had her first oh my acting gosh, debut. She's, so, she's so amazing. We love you, Carisha. Um, so it, it was really like, it, I was so excited to be away from my children on this set. <laughs> I was like, I get to go to work and just have fun and go back to my hotel and like order room service and like feel like an adult. It really was a fun experience. I mean, there were days in Palm Springs that felt like they were never gonna end, but that's part of the process. That's being on location. And for the most part, I will take, say this, is that we, you know, had a great team around us. We didn't, for the most part, we kept good days. Mm -hmm. um, we stayed COVID free. We did a lot of, you know, I, I feel like we had so many things with everything going on around us. And it also was such an amazing, it was the Avengers of comedy, mm -hmm. such an amazing group of people to get together. And I would love those scenes when they were all together because everyone would sort of turn on their superpowers. And that was one of the things, you know, I wanted to do was to sort and of... And watching Julia for me, sorry not no, to cut you no. off, but watching Julia for me was like, I, I was mesmerized by her, honestly. And doing those scenes with her where it's a group and how she would just take one beat and then it would just go and go. And, you, and I'd literally be peeing because you don't, but you don't want to interrupt the scene. Um, to work with such iconic comedic, actors, David with his fine self, Eddie with his fine self. I mean, we just had, it was it was just the best group ever, honestly. Kenya with his fine self. Kenya with his <laughs> fine, <laughs> fine ass self. <laughs> no, but Either way, it seemed like you guys had a blast. We Obviously, did. We could talk forever, but you guys will have stories that I don't know what could be labeled as stories as opposed to like what really happened, but it's always fun to did see you. you did you see working. the movie? Yes, I did. I need yes, a I did. did you enjoy it? You know, to, to see you guys together, to see Eddie and Julia together after 40 years from being on SNL. Oh, hey, you, yeah. You put together a cast right there. Mia, hey, you know, you'll always work. I'm sure I'll see you again next week, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Kenya's got my <laughs> next job logistic. lined up. Don't worry. You know? She stay working. That's the line now. Nia stay working. Nia stay working. That's day. a t-shirt, baby. So nice. We'll you. make it happen. Bye. Take care.